Welcome back. Day 147. And no, your eyes do not deceive you. It has. I know my last video ended in day 92-ish, 94-ish. It has been a exorbitantly long time. Uh, that video was actually recorded almost a week ago now. And I've been... I had quite a bit of other footage recorded, honestly. But... I decided to forego that footage because, to be perfectly honest, I think I've grown a little tired of the methodology of Let's Play. So to commemorate, this will be the last Let's Play I do. Now that's not to say I won't continue to make Minecraft videos, but I, not, I don't like the idea of you just watching me build. It's now, if I'm going to build something small, short, interesting, I might record that. But, for the most part, you're not really gaining... I'm not sharing technique. I'm not showing knowledge. I'm just, you know, a lot of the stuff, especially on my bigger projects, and most everything I do nowadays has, has become a bigger project. It's very time-consuming. Like I said, it's been... You know, 50 game days, roughly, since my last video was published. And it's just an enormous amount of time. If I had done a Let's Play all through then, that would have, you know, taken, at minimum, another 25 videos to get to this point today. And I just couldn't do it. It's, it's too slow. And... I don't have the hard drive capabilities to record massive quantities of data and then squish it all together in like a sped up video you can watch. Because uh, I'm working with a limited hard drive space and I've got you know numerous programs. I just don't have the, the ability to pull that off, unfortunately, with my machine. So I'm going to stick to reveals and, you know walkthroughs of builds instead of, you know, full LPs. Um, I'll do, you know, day-by-day -day progress shots, and I'll try to, I'll set up an album of screenshots if you want to see the progress as things are assembled. But the videos will remain solely for the sake of showing off, running through, and just to see what's been done. And this will also allow me, today's video is recorded in a higher resolution and uh, hopefully it'll come out well when I upload it. Uh, it'll be a significantly larger video to upload, but I don't mind the difference if I can get a little bit better quality. Uh, you'll notice when I started today, I was on fast graphics instead of fancy, which is what I normally use because my machine has no issue with fancy, but uh, it doesn't want to record well with fancy on, unfortunately. So, what I'm doing today is I'm doing a final run through. Uh, going through all the rooms, all the build areas, and exploring every bit that I've done so far. T after today is done, and I upload this video, I will be including a link if you would like to download this world and try it out yourself. I will warn you ahead of time, it is quite a large file. I compressed it down as best I could using 7-zip, and it's compressed down to about 37 megabytes. It's initially like 40 or 55 or it's, it's 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 a rather large file because I've done quite an extensive bit of exploring and honestly I don't know how to delete those unex those areas that I've explored. Like the days I went off looking for snow I uh, explored quite a bit of land and all that region is stored in your save files. I don't know what happened here um, all my uh, wheat is gone. I will replant it all before I actually put up the save file. But for some reason, it just went poof. I don't know if it, I just waited too long and it died, or what happened. Because I didn't harvest it for like weeks, and maybe it does finally, you know, pop off. I've never checked, but maybe that's a possibility. Uh, you can see here my uh, basement, which is where I pulled up nearly every last bit of cobblestone I uh, used for my builds. It's it's pretty deep now. I uh, cleaned up the walls. I went ahead and you can see I still left the torches up. I should take those down, but I might not. 
Uh, I cleaned up the walls and put smooth, uh, leftover smooth stone in that I had from my uh, made build, major build, anyway, back there on the, uh, the other construct. You can see I've expanded the floor here and added the rail in because uh, I fell once and once is all it takes to uh, not want to do it again. <laughs> but uh, I had a, the smaller platform of glass didn't allow for uh, railings and easy enough movement so I expanded the platform to make it wider. And so now we'll travel out and uh, take a look at the construct. I had to call it a construct, it's just a build of course, but it's just... It was, it was a construct. It took quite a bit of uh, effort. Uh, it's one of the more, it might be one of the most intense things I've ever built by scratch. And by that I mean I've, like, I've built a few larger things before, but I was always using tools and hacks and infinite items. And it's, it's you know, a lot harder when you have to go take multiple trips to cut down forest and smelt stone in the smooth stone and the, the entire roof of the structure is built out of smooth stone half steps which rough estimate is about I used about 2,000 pieces of, of stone slab to uh, to finish the uh, the roof and that means I had to have 2,000 pieces of cobblestone that were smelted down so I mean it was um four trips of eight stacks of 64 so it broke down somewhere to like 2,000 is how that adds up um, you can see I've got all the torches properly placed everywhere now finally I've completed all the walkway platform things uh, each one of them has water going from the, the roof of the little side buildings and it drains down into the base I uh, put a covered floor or ceiling and it's just you know this serves absolutely no purpose the entire construct there's no uh, storage here there's no smithing there or smithing there's no smelting little furnaces there's no crafting tables there's nothing it's just I built this solely for eye candy's sake I wanted something interesting to look at something large and massive and so I built it and here it is it uh, took quite a long time uh, a massive massive amount of time uh, the pillars here are made out of nether rock nether rack it's called R-A-C-K nether rack but uh, it's the, you know what makes up most of the nether uh, added in final touches around the areas I do, uh, this will be the last video I record using the default texture pack. Um, I use a texture pack called, um, um, I think it's called Rustic or something. I don't know. I'll post a link to it in the bottom if you'd like to try it out. Um, I'd previously been using a pack called, uh, by an artist named Frendon, but it was a little too cartoony at times and I decided to go against it. So I, Put it aside and went with this pack that I use now, and it's what I use anytime I'm playing normally. And it's it works. It's 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 a lot like the normal graphics, except it's high resolution. The normal graphics are 16 bit, and uh, you can see I put little torches on the, on the ground level and floating in the water just to light up the base area a little better. Torches, bonfires, whatever. And so the pack I like to use is a 64-bit pack, and it requires using a HD patcher mod for the uh, the Minecraft files because Minecraft won't natively use 64-bit graphics properly, especially the water and lava graphics. So I had you have to use the patcher to add in the proper functionality. So I'll post links to all of it below. Uh, you can check it out yourself. Uh, there's quite a wide variety of texture packs available for Minecraft. Anything that suits just about any taste. And, well, there you go. Looks pretty good. Lights up nicely at night. I do have mobs turned off right now just because I was, didn't want to be attacked while I was running around. So, that's it.
that's my home. That's my base. That's the, uh, the massive construct. Everything lights up beautifully at night. Hope it all turns out great on the file. Uh, so, enjoy it. I hope you like it. And I will see you with the next project once the server gets up and running. So, adios. Until next time. Underwater tunnel lights up so interestingly. Alright. Goodbye.